time to face your opponent! Okay, I didn't expect I'd end up fighting my own clone. Its power and other characteristics appear to be the same as mine. And I suppose its body and abilities are the same as mine as well. It's not every day an opponent shows up where you know all of their strengths and weaknesses. Nobody knows me better than me, after all. I can use that to my advantage. I'll pull out all the stops since I'm basically fighting myself. Now! Oh. 
We're running some tests on 18 over at the Capsule Corporation. There's nothing wrong with her physically, so she should come around soon. It's gonna be okay. Relax, Krillin. You look like it's the end of the world. Well, it kinda is. But I take your word over doom and gloom any day. Thanks, Bulma. <laughs> hey, Krillin. My new roommate here also says to not worry about it. Well, we'll see this thing through, no problem. You can count on it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Thanks. <laughs> you know, you're pretty cool. I mean, for a soul without a body, I guess. You know, I think you and me are gonna be good friends. <laughs> the thing that's puzzling me right now is Android 16's role in this whole dilemma. The 16 I know wouldn't go along with the Red Ribbon Army's twisted way of doing things. It's true. 16 was never one of the bad guys. When Android 16 first showed up on the scene, he did talk about another 16. I wonder if the 16 I saw was a copy built with the original specs. Maybe, but I don't know. He didn't seem like a completely different Android. Hmm, you have a point. Okay, okay. What if he is a copy, but with the original's memory? Who knows, Bulma? Either way, our only course of action at this point is to find the Army's base. <laughs> Guess you're right.
Over there! Guys, look! It's Gohan! <sighs> That's a relief. It looks like he just lost consciousness. What'd you expect? He's made from tougher stuff than you. Give me a break, Piccolo. You know these Saiyans are too robust for their own good. Another clone, huh? Well, they're a stubborn bunch. Goku, I'll keep this guy company. Get Gohan somewhere safe. Huh? Knowing Goku, I bet he used instant transmission to get Gohan out of here. All right, now that Gohan's all safe with Bulma, finally focus on some fighting. Hey, Piccolo, your face has turned red. Why are you embarrassed? I'm not. Okay. Hey, man, whatever you say. Look, never mind that. We need to come up with a way to take care of this guy. A fierce showdown is about to begin! Now that the clone's out of the way, we should go see Bulma. Great. I certainly am hungry. And I bet Gohan's awake by now. Dad, you're here. And so's Piccolo. Hey there, Gohan. It doesn't look like there's a scratch on you anywhere. Goku, can't you show a little more concern for your son's well-being? I guess. But Gohan's pretty strong. He looks like he's ready to fight. Besides, you should know that. I mean, you're the one who's been training him recently. Yeah, but he's still got a lot to learn. So, Bulma told me what happened. I want to fight too. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking forward to fighting alongside Gohan. <laughs> um, here's the thing. I know you've linked with Dad and the others to fight and everything, but... I should apologize. I feel bad that you got dragged into all this. From now on, I'll be fighting too. But we're still gonna need your help.
Starting to get the feeling that we've just found the base. Hmm? Huh? Watch out! Somebody's coming! So, you're here at last. Sixteen, it's you! It's really you! So tell me, do you have your old memories? You do! You remember us! I can tell! So what if I do? Wait a sec. What are you saying? It means that you're the 16 that we've always known! Remember when we fought side by side all those years ago? <clears throat> Why are you helping the Red Ribbon Army? I mean, that's insane! There is no need for me to answer. Please stop! No, wait! We don't want to fight you, 16! Walk away from this nonsense with the strange waves and the clothes! Your motives are not relevant. If you will not engage, I will.
I knew it! You never planned on killing us after all, did you? Right from the start, you lacked that killer instinct. Had you figured in a flash. It's like Goku says, 16 isn't fighting because he wants to. And if he's being controlled by the army, that means we can be friends again. Apologies, but I cannot leave the army. I cannot let that monster run amok. Monster? Yes, the Red Ribbon Army's current leader, Android 21. You're saying there's an Android 21? There is. I have been complying with 21's orders. However, 21's personality is growing more savage by the day. Were I to leave my post... Exactly. If you were to leave your post, she would never awaken again. Hey! You're the researcher from before! 21! What in the world? She's 21? Curiouser and curiouser. But if you're Android 21, why did you save 18 back there? Save her? Please, I never saved her. I fed you those lies in order to avoid fighting. I'm not at full power as of yet. But if you formed an alliance with Cell, that could prove troublesome. As for you, 16, I've had enough. You're... you're nothing more than a treacherous pile of slag. I don't understand. Like hell you don't. I know you activated the system. Also, to give these nitwits an advantage, I know you linked a compatible soul. And if I did? Oh? Using that tone with me? I thought my policy on this matter was clear. Continue to resist me. I will make sure that she is history. <laughs> I see you still intend to side with the organics. So sad. Such wasted effort. <laughs> That must be Android 21's true form. What? So she wasn't even human after all? That was established pretty early, Goku. Such a shame we must part ways so soon. I guess this is farewell. Those who stand in my way will be ripped into tiny pieces. Don't hate me. Hate your maker for leaving you with such a defective personality. Sixteen, get out of there! You'll be blown to bits! Hold on! I'll save you! No, Krillin! Step aside! Hear me in there? I'm gonna need your help with this one! Hame, hame, ha! That do it! What? How to stretch? Can't be! Sixteen, we... We were just reunited! Oh, are you crying for sweet sixteen? Oh, don't be sad. It's gonna be all right. Cause I'm gonna eat you right up. <laughs> that last attack must have taken its toll. What's the matter? You were on a bit of a roll there. You'll get what's coming to you. We'll finish this later. Wait! Why did you destroy 16? I thought he was on your side! He didn't listen, so I punished him, of course. If he stopped while he was ahead, I would have let him live, but he had to cross the line. Oh well, that's fine. Now there is no one left to oppose me. And now I'm free! Free to stuff myself with as many sweets as I want!
<laughs> you sound like a spoiled brat. You'll see, boys. As soon as I'm ready, that's when the real fun starts. Huh? Oh, no, you don't. Get back here. Goku! Let's tail him, Krillin. We can't let anything happen to Goku or his new friend. You are quite fast, even when your powers are suppressed. I'm so sorry, but I'm not ready to snack on you just yet. Be dull and unlock more of your power first because you are going to need it. Oh no! 99! Go, go! Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. Snap out of it! You're wasting my time. Finally, can't stand repeating myself. Ah, <laughs> so you do know me. Why wouldn't you? There are very few Earthlings who haven't heard of the Great Cell. I mean, I did try to blow up the planet. But more to the point, who the hell are you? What is a living human soul doing inside of me? This is most upsetting. <laughs> no matter. We can discuss this at a later time. For now, we have a fight to go and win. Tell me, you're the one who was linked with Goku earlier. Oh, it was the impact of that blast that sent you here, didn't it? Anyway, more fun for me, I suppose. And it saves me the trouble of hunting you down. <laughs> Just as I thought! Those who you link with become stronger! I could gobble you completely whole right now. But maybe I should have you relink with Goku instead. Yes, he would be a much better meal. Oh, Decisions, decisions! We have no choice. We must retreat! <laughs> from the amount of his fatigue. The link won't hold for much longer. So, you can run all you like. I'll be dining on you before sundown. Uh, 
power system. She's on a completely different level than my power can handle. No power source on this planet is capable of that. There must be some kind of way. Perhaps those clones are more than just mere drones. They might be the weakness I've been looking for. Whatever the case, I need to heal. And quick. sensed earlier. That belonged to 21. But in order to fight, you had to be linked up with something. Is that right? So tell me, is there a fighter sleeping nearby? I'm not sensing anyone that fits the profile. Unless, of course, they're hiding their power. <sighs> Whatever the case, taking 21 down is our top priority right now. Uh, easier said than done. When I talked to her, she said she wasn't at full power just yet. Do you think she was just bluffing? I mean, come on. You diet of junk food? It's mostly sugar, and the stuff doesn't fill you up. Who cares about her dietary habits? How strong she can get. That's the problem. The problem is you guys arguing. Stop already. You guys are good at sensing power, right? Feel out 21's location and send her to the scrap heap. If only it were that simple. We've been trying to figure out where 21 is for a while, but nothing's come up, I'm afraid. Android 21 probably keep her power in low gear, just like Cell. Oh well, what doesn't turn up now will turn up later, they say. For now, let's focus on what we can do. Yeah, like rounding up the rest of the gang, right? Yeah, Krillin's right. We need a bigger team for the battle ahead. Just our luck. Vegeta's good at never being around when you really need him. He brags about being the Prince of Saiyans. He's the Prince of Bad Timing if you ask him some slack, Bulma. He'll turn up soon. I'm, I'm sure of it. Hey! I know! I'm pretty used to this Link business by now. Maybe if I focus really hard, I can pinpoint Vegeta's energy. All right, here I go. Yep, it's Vegeta, all right. I got it! You found him? Really? <laughs> Way to go, Goku! <laughs> Come on, guys! What do you say we go rescue our buddy Vegeta? This seems like it's gonna be a really tough battle. I'm afraid I'm not going to be powerful enough to be of much help in the fight. Don't sweat it, Gohan. You'll be totally fine. If push comes to shove, we can just fuse together as father and son. Fuse? Me that's a great idea, Dad. I know, right? But if we fused, what would our name be? Goku, or maybe go How? Gohan, oh wait. I don't want to rain on your parade, 
But if you screw up, you'll be no more than dead weight. And you don't have the time right now to practice, so let's just forget about that. Aw, oh, really? I wanted to try out that really cool pose just once. Wait, cool? Are you talking about the fusion pose? Huh? Yeah, it's really cool, don't you think? Oh, uh, sure. Oh, that's right, Gohan. I'll teach you the fusion pose after the fight. Sound good? Really? <laughs> Thanks. If he thinks that fusion pose is cool, he is definitely Goku's son. What are you mumbling over there, Piccolo? Are you making fun of me? Uh-oh, here comes the enemy. Less mumbling and more fighting, guys. Let oh, uh, um, yeah. Clone of me too, huh? I guess this means I'll be fighting myself. When was this clone made, I wonder? How much of my information has been copied into its cells? If it was made after Elder Kai helped awaken my hidden power, I might have some trouble taking it down. It'd really help me out if it was made before I pulled out the Z-Sword. Or the level I was at the last time Frieza showed up. You don't really seem like you're gonna engage me in conversation, do you? There's no point in just standing here. I'll have to judge its power by fighting it. I have to be careful not to get too distracted when fighting this thing.
over here! Yeah, hey! You're going! Not done yet! Hey! You're not getting away! That's odd. Vegeta should be close by. He's got to be around here somewhere. Hey, look over there! Vegeta! Time to finish what I started! Damn it! Who's there? Well, well. If it isn't the welcome wagon. <sighs> and I was so close to. I wanted to off this impertinent prince. Before that woman could turn him into an hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> <laughs> 